Nigel, the best way to um, kind of promote a robo drill is to have it moving in the background, which we've got here. This is a very, very fast machine, isn't it? Yes, it is, Paul. Um, and, th and this is one of the latest models. Tell us about the model and what it is. Yeah, the model is the um, advanced version of our, our robo drill uh, DIB series machine. Um, so there's some enhancements to this one over and above the standard version. So if you had a standard version already, what, what, what would you get different with this? Uh, you get a, a larger Z-axis stroke, a faster tool changer, and you have the ability to load larger and heavier tools to the turret. So how much bigger would that Z-axis be? Okay, so the Z-axis is 400 millimetres as opposed to 330. So an extra 70 millimetres in the minus direction. That's, 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 that can be yeah. quite a lot, can't it, if you're doing the bit bigger, bigger billets, bigger parts? Yes, it can. And um, it, it also helps with... Uh, installations where we have additional axes on the table so if we have a five axis um, unit on the table and we're tilted over at a, a greater than 90 degree angle we you know we can still use shorter tools then and that's quite common with these machines you're selling a lot of these with the fourth and fifth axis solution aren't you yes we are yeah um, some for full simultaneous five axis machining but a lot of customers use them for three plus two you, you mentioned about being able to put heavier tools in but is that important with a machine that's a BT30? Um, well, it is, yes. For our automotive customers who might be using um, three-step boring tools and things like that that are special to reduce cycle time on aluminium castings that they machine, it all helps. Yeah. And what about the, the B-Series itself? How long has this machine been available? And what's different on that from, the, from its predecessor? OK, so the first machine that came into the UK was in May of this year. Um, we've already sold one advanced version of the machine and the machine behind us is available from stock also. So if I had the, the, the previous model to the B series, was that an A series? Yes Paul, it was. Yeah. What, what would be the difference with this machine, the B, compared to that as a standard machine and not the advanced? As a standard machine it's basically the upgrade on the control system. So it's still the 31 IB5 FANUC controller but with the new IHMI front end and revised keyboard layout. Now. You can tell us how fast it is, but it's best to see it, which we can see here. Are yep. there many machines in the market that have got faster tool changes, that have got faster acceleration, that have got faster rapids, or are you kind of out there in a, in a league of your own, in your opinion? Uh, we're just out there in a league of our own on the tool change speed. I mean, we're down to 0.7 of a second tool to tool now. Um, and then, obviously, with the acceleration and rapid rates, the machine's up there with the best of them. And how do you manage to keep this thing seated in one place when it's moving around like this? Is it all, all that's taken into account in the build, I assume? Well, I think that's down to the guys in Japan who design it, really. You've got to give the credit to those guys there in the lab in the FANUC, in, in FANUC HQ. So it's a very stable machine and very easy to install, actually. And when you sell these machines, you, you're putting them into all kinds of places, OEMs, in high volumes, as well as subcontract engineers. I mean, you're replacing a lot of traditional BT40 machining sensors with these, aren't you, as well? Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the advancement in, with the spindle technology, the motor technology, and of course the tooling has helped with the BT30 size machine tremendously. So we use the taper and face contact system, Big Plus, and you know, we are crossing into the BT40 territory now. So it's my mistake, I said BT30 earlier, but it's oh, actually right. BBT30. B BBT30, yeah. And um, what about the economics of the machine on a final point? Are they low power consumption? Are they, are they economical to run? Yeah, I mean, um, compared to a conventional BT40 machine, you know, the, the robo drill will cost a, le a lot less to run. Um, it's more dynamic as well, so. You're, you're reducing your cycle times you, with your faster tool changer and the rapid traverse rate. So overall, it, it's a, a hungrier machine, I would say, than a conventional VMC. Um, but, you know, we can machine materials that a lot of subcontractors are machining, steels, aluminiums, uh, plastics, cast iron, stainless steel, everything really. What's going to be my next question, but you've answered it. So okay. you can do it, you can tackle pretty much anything on this machine. Yep. The, the, be the beauty of this as well, you have them in stock here, don't you, in Coventry. Engineers can come along, they can bring parts, uh, and, and you can show them how, how efficient this machine and effective this can be. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, uh, new customers, uh, existing customers, everybody's welcome to come along to FANUC and have a look in the showroom and see what we have on display and we'll go through the you know the finer points of the machine with the customer here